Republicans might be resorting a lot more often to prayer, the new strategy several senators have adopted for dealing with their capricious president, because of the forces unleashed by the latest fraught moment of the Trump era. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell did manage to avert the political disaster of a new government shutdown by securing a pledge Thursday that President Donald Trump will sign a federal funding bill that lacks money for his wall. But he may be paying the price for years to come. That's because the president's response to a futile effort to squeeze lawmakers for wall funding is to obliterate a constitutional guardrail in a way that could fundamentally alter the power balance between the presidency and Congress. Trump will appear in the White House Rose Garden at 10 a.m. ET to sign the compromise funding bill and announce a slate of executive actions, a White House official said. The plan is expected to include a declaration of national emergency, which he will use to reallocate $8 billion in government money to fund the wall, a declaration of a national emergency to bypass Congress and reprogram funds already allocated by lawmakers would represent Trump's most striking assault yet on the system of constitutional order that he is sworn to preserve, protect and defend. If the move is not permanently blocked by the courts it could also come back to haunt Republicans, since it could provide a precedent for a future Democratic president to enact liberal priorities on an executive whim. I know the Republicans have some unease about it, no matter what they say, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said Thursday, taunting the GOP with a possible move by a future Democratic commander-in-chief on gun control. If the president can declare an emergency on something that he has created as an emergency, an illusion that he wants to convey, just think of what a president would do.